talking about how their physical appearance relates to their K-State story, everyone had a very quick answer in comparison to like, what is social justice? Well, that's really hard to define. Most people said something about, it's about equity and it's about everyone having a voice. But if you ask someone how their physical appearance affects their K-State story, there's an answer immediately, which I found really interesting. Yeah. well-known black men on this campus for all the roles that he's had. He talks about not really coming into himself and his skin color and realizing his blackness until he got to K-State and that's when he first felt marginalized um, and heard like harsh remarks about the way that he looked and how he was different and so that inspired him to represent marginalized groups on campus. I think it's very simple um, of how like our people felt like walk on this campus, right? Like, I think their lives, our lives are important, and that's why it's important. So everyone, if anybody cared about me or people of color, then I think they should be in favor for trying to make this a more unified campus. You look to your left and right, and it's nobody that looks like you at all, um, which is not a bad thing, um, but it's not that diverse. We need to embrace difference because if we surround ourselves with people who are only the same as us, we won't learn anything. A group with different cultures and backgrounds makes for a better problem-solving group and uh, different minds come together. It's an uncomfortable thing to talk about. Social justice means different things to different people. But I also think as a like, person of color, when you're like, hey, let's talk about social injustice, you just look like an angry person. So that was my first observation, It's just that um, that's something that we should speak about more, but I didn't really know how. And so I wanted my art to speak to that and sort of solve the issue if we're not talking about it. I think without a narrative, it gives people room to make their own assumptions about a population rather than um, having that population speak for themselves. So her giving me the opportunity to speak for um, my identity and like the people that I identify with, I feel like that opens up more opportunities to share stories and to like have people really think about how does this population think on campus or what struggles do they go through, things like that. People of color and other minority groups in this college might not always feel connected um, because we're not heard and there's not really spaces to speak about our personal stories. So I saw that as a problem and I connected that to social justice and then I just had this, yeah. this issue that made me very excited and very passionate about creating something but I didn't know what it was gonna be at first. The first step of my project, which most simply is just an art installation, you had to address a specific place and say what that place could be um, with your art installed into it. I chose Bosco Plaza as an intersection on campus, one of the strongest in my opinion. Um, that's a space where everyone interacts because it's in between the Union and Seton, a place I'm very familiar with. Someone's doing something about sound, someone's doing something about sculpture, and I'm like, I want to do something about social justice. Everyone's like, know what that is or that makes me uncomfortable and then everyone just falls silent so I got the idea of using other people because the idea of just speaking about my own experience and putting it in such a public place well first of all it made me nervous but I also wanted to show that 
maybe I'm not the only person who feels um, either scared to share their voice or has never been given the space to share their voice. So I wanted to pull out student stories and say what it's like to be who they are on campus. And so I was trying to make a connection between social justice and skin color. And that's where the pictures emerged from. That's where the interviews came from because I wanted to talk about how we are more than our color, which just means that like you look a certain way and you're perceived by people in a certain way, but there's more to you. And we often don't talk about that with people. He said, breaking bread. I'm like, breaking bread? What are you talking he about? He said, we get this. Duh. We get out of the building. But this is trees. Exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really get, get this. Oh, I don't really right. get this. Yeah. But I get this. But I get this. I get this. I get this. And it's not real. But what is a real? Engineering's up there. I'm not. 